This video outlines a recently described technique for correction of a dog ear. A dog ear is an infrequently encountered complication in emergency wound care, but can occasionally occur when wound edges are not symmetric, leaving one side to look floppy, kind of hang over the other edge, what we would refer to as a dog ear. Now most methods of dog ear correction involve some measure of tissue excision, but recently in the archives of plastic surgery this three bite dog ear correction method was described. I'll plan to use this cartoon schematic throughout this video to describe the technique. So the first step in correction of the half cone dog ear, meaning a dog ear which only flops over to one side, a more commonly encountered problem in emergency medicine, is to place a throw that runs in line with the wound that goes deep into the fascial planes and then exits right at the point where the dog ear begins. So again, a few millimeters beyond where the last simple interrupted suture was placed, you'll go along the wound axis, you'll throw your suture deep in the fascial plane, grabbing those underlying tissues, and you'll come out within the wound right at the point where the dog ear begins. Your next throw is going to go in a subcuticular layer along the margin of the wound on the side where the dog ear is not present. So again, that throw goes intradermally. You can use pickups in order to retract the skin layer to see where you're going. You'll sew a subcuticular technique almost as if you're doing a running subcuticular suture. And then you'll exit from the wound about two millimeters from the apex of the wound. That suture is then pulled through and you'll be ready to begin the next and final throw for this technique. This involves another subcuticular suture which is going to follow the margins of that dog ear as illustrated in this cartoon. This throw again will go through the margin of the dog ear, this time starting at the apex. It's going to go intradermally in a subcuticular fashion. Pickups can be used in order to help guide the suture through the tissue. You'll run that suture through the intradermal layer and exit opposite the dog ear margin, basically back where you started your first throw. This cartoon schematic shows the tie-off for this procedure in order to finalize the loop. Once you've tied off the suture, you'll find that those wrinkles that were previously seen with the dog ear are not going to be completely gone, but they'll be distributed throughout the wound and the edges of the dog ear and the flat side of the wound will now come together nicely. The nice part about this technique is that it spares tissue as compared to other dog ear correction methods which involve some level of excision of the tissue. As the wound contracts, those wrinkles will distribute themselves out and the wound should lie flat. This technique was described in a modest cohort of nine patients where both the plastic surgeons and the patients were pleased with the cosmetic outcomes. To learn more about this technique and other techniques in local wound care, visit www.lacerationrepair.com.